On March 26, 2001, sundown in Jerusalem, the astronomically and agriculturally corrected biblical Hebrew calendar reached the year 6001 from creation. The day or millennium of the Lord had begun. That week, a large contingency of rabbis met here at the western wall of the Temple Mount in Jerusalem and made a singularly significant declaration. The time of Jacob's trouble had now begun. The prophets promised that there would be a shaking of the earth in the last days, and during the time of trouble, the name of the true God would become known throughout all the earth. I'm Michael Rood. Prepare for a Rood Awakening. The time of trouble in the last days will shake us to our spiritual senses. And if we just cry out in repentance for the abominations that we've inherited, God will perform a miracle that will make the parting of the Red Sea pale by comparison. Therefore, because the Gentiles cry out in repentance for the abominations that they have inherited, behold, I will this once cause the Gentiles to understand. I will cause them to know by experience my hand and my might, and they, the Gentiles, shall know that my name is, and the King James Version reads, the Lord. The Lord is not even a name. It is simply a title given to every British landowner for the past thousand years. That is no great revelation. But every time you see capital L, capital O, capital R, and capital D in your King James Version of the Bible, the Hebrew letters are yud Hey vav Hey, which is the name of the Lord. Sorry for this rude interruption, but when the prophet Yoel states, whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, you might appropriately respond, I would like to call on his name. What is it? The Hebrew scriptures read, Kol asher yikra b'shem Yahweh. Whosoever calls upon the name of yud Hey vav Hey Yahweh. How are you going to call on the name of the Lord if you don't know his name? Hallelujah is a Hebrew word. Hallelu means be praised, and Yah is the poetic short form of Yahweh. Hallelujah means praise be to Yahweh. You've been shouting out part of his name, and you didn't even know it. I pronounce the name Yahweh. Josephus stated that there were four vowels on the high priest turban. yud he vav he are pronounced as vowels in one breath, Yahweh, fluently Yahweh. In Greek literature, Iota, Alpha, Omicron, Upsilon, Epsilon was used to approximate the name. The same vowels, A, E, I, O, U, used in English today. Jehovah, a name that is found in many English Bibles, is a hybrid word that is derived by pronouncing the four vowels as consonants and adding the vowel pointings for the Hebrew Adonai, which means Lord. This deliberate misspelling by Hebrew scholars more than a millennia ago was done to protect the real name from defilement by the heathen. The English-speaking world departs even further by mispronouncing the Yud as a British J, Jehovah, not even close. 